electric current is defined to be the amount of charge that is flowing through a wire per unit time. So our equation looks something like current, which we use a capital I for, equals change in charge, change in Q, over change in time. So how much charge changes per period of time. So how much charge flows through a certain area in a given time is our current. The unit for current is an amp, or ampere, which is abbreviated with an A, and that's equal to our charge, which is in coulombs, per time second. So an amp is a coulomb per second at how much charge per time. So let's go ahead and take a look at a simple circuit here. A uh, simple circuit might look something like this, where we have a battery, which you indicate by two lines, two solid lines, one bigger than the other. The bigger end is the plus, the smaller end is the minus. And that's what a battery would look like in what we're drawing, which is called a schematic. So we draw here. And then we might have some maybe resistor, some other type of load over on, over on the other side. Could be a light bulb, something like that. And then comes back to the negative end. Current, in this case, is we define it as always from a battery flowing from positive to negative. So the current would move around our loop in that direction, right, in a clockwise fashion here. So a quick kind of interesting thing to note here uh, is that this is actually the way that a positively charged particle would move around here, right? It would be pushed away from the positive in end and be attracted towards the negative end. So current is, its direction at least, is defined by the direction that a positive charge would flow through the circuit which is kind of a strange way to define it uh, because a lot of the times we'd use uh, a metal wire, like a copper wire. And in that case, if we look inside, so maybe this is a view inside the copper wire, it's actually electrons that are moving that carry the current. But our definition of current is the way that a positive charge would travel, so it's actually the opposite direction of the way our electrons are moving. Okay. So it's the way, the direction that positive charge would move through our circuit is the direction that current goes. So if a current of 3 milliamps runs through a calculator, we want to know how many electrons per second move through the calculator. So we'll start with our definition of current. That current is change in Q over T, our change in charge over time. And so let's say that we have 3 milliamps, so that's 3.00 times 10 to the negative third amps is equal to Q over T, okay, our charge per second. Uh, and that's going to be, remember, in units of coulombs per second. We're looking for something that's in units of electrons per second. So how do I get from coulombs to electrons? Well, I know that one electron carries a charge of 1 point, or negative 1 point, six zero times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So from here, this just kind of becomes a unit conversion problem. Right? I have 3.00 times 10 to the negative third coulombs per second equal, and one electron is equivalent to, multiply those here, negative 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So if we multiply those two things together, my coulombs are going to cancel out, and I'm left with electrons per second, which is what I'm looking for. And I get an answer of 1.88 times 10 to the 15th electrons per second. Okay, so 1.88 times 10 to the 15th electrons per second moving through that calculator.